Okay, welcome back and solving the question on the screen right there. It is in a what in first angle autograph projection. So the very first thing is for me to produce this uh, horizontal line, that in horizontal line. Okay, then I'm going to what uh, produce a vertical line to that in this manner, like this. All right. So what's the next procedure? Yeah, from the midpoint. Okay, I'm going to pick a mark of 10 mm towards the left, mark of 10 mm towards the right. Okay, so from that same midpoint, mark of 10 mm towards the top and what towards the bottom. Then I'm going to what bring out each of these lines right there. Okay, so we're having that right there settled. Okay, so my front view is going to be here. My plan will be here, and my end view is going to be what is going to be here. Okay, so let's start with our what? With our front view. Okay, so based on what we are seeing from the front view, we are seeing just a rectangular surface. Okay, so height right there is height of 20, which is this. Okay, and the span right there is span of what? 60, which is what? This. Okay. So that span of 16, I'm going to project that vertically in this manner. Then height of 20, I'm projecting that what horizontally in this manner. Okay, so as it is now, I'm going to what bring out my what my front view. Okay, so that is that right there. But this front view you are seeing here, it is not complete. Why is it not complete? If you look at that object, okay, looking at it from the end view area, yeah, we are having something like a slot, a chamber inwards there. And that slot needs to be visible from our what from our front view. So we are going to denote that area with what with hidden line, with hidden line. So therefore, from this area, I'm measuring mark of what? Mark of 10. Okay. Then on this plane, I'm measuring mark of what? Mark of 20. Right there. So then I'm going to what? Uh, project them. Like this. And like this. Okay, so since it is hidden details, I'm going to represent them with, with hidden line. With my thin, short dashes. Okay. So now we have our what our complete front view. Okay, so now how do we get our plan? So all I'm going to measure is that height of what uh that width of 40, which is right there. Okay, that width of 40, which is right there. I'm going to what project that horizontally like this, first of all. Okay, after doing that, yeah, towards this area, we are having mark of what mark of 10 right there. Okay, then mark of 10 right there also so then i'm going to watch project those areas horizontally like this and like this okay so having that in that manner i'm going to what pick my pencil and my ruler i'm going to thicken this area out i'm going to thicken this also like this I'm going to join this together right here like this. Then I'm going to what join this right here like this. Okay, I'm going to uh, pull this down here. Okay, then I'm going to what align this right here and this right here. So we are having our what our complete plan view as it is right here. So to get our end view, yeah, with my set square 45 degree set square. Okay, from the midpoint right here i'm going to what, draw this line downward okay so wherever all my original line in touches this mark of 45 degree i'm going to what, project them upwards okay so this point upward this point upward this point upward so i don't need to start measuring for my end view i already have my end view so i'm going to just what uh bring it out okay so this to this settled this to this settled 
this down here settled this down here settled okay right here and right here then what right here okay that is our what that's our end view front view and what and plan view okay so that is the representation representation of the object on the screen in what in first angle orthographic projection so if you don't understand how it actually came about this check the link under the description below there is a video on the basics of orthographic projection yeah a well explained video on the basics of orthographic projection okay so kindly subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you